Close these weary eyes. Lady said something about uh, an inoculation project. Won't be long now. So there was a terminal. Is it this one? It's a big terminal. Fire breathers recruiting. All right, well, that's good to know. Personnel files. Yeah, there they are. I see them. Wait a minute. It's peaceful here. Well, I recognize this name. I like that. Before the war, the world was just too loud. Hmm. I wonder if that person could be related. Uh. Complaints. Something about the Grafton Mayor's office. I think this might be... It's tough to tell if this is before or after the war. Uh, Dealing with the Brotherhood. I've been a member of the responders from the start. Like all of you, I put my life on the line. Our mission is important. That's why we can't let the Brotherhood of Steel push us around. Well, they don't sound that nice. We'll help anyone where we can, but y'all know that our resources are limited. The Brotherhood's been marking increased demands for resources and supplies in the name of holding back the Scorched. Well, the Scorched aren't the only threat around here, and the responders aren't looking to fight a war. We're all he we're healers, we're teachers, we're not soldiers. When the Brotherhood comes asking for your ammo, your stim packs, your water, whatever it is, think carefully. Someone out there might need those supplies to survive. If they ask you to join their ranks because you've got skills they can use, remember that we need those skills just as much, maybe more. We don't have the benefit of power Every armor. And have it, Dontrell, if you would please. All we've got is training, knowledge, and courage, but that's been enough so far, and I hope we can keep it that way. I'm not saying the Brotherhood of Seal is our enemy. We're on the same side, but lately, we're not really friends either. So there was some kind of tension. You ever met the Brotherhood of Steel, uh, either of you? No, and I plan to keep it that way. Huh. This is all after the war. To answer your question. Okay. Well, even about the, the mayor? Is there still a mayor of, of Grafton? Probably. Huh. Can't say I would have guessed some rules. There's this box, which Virginia. looks a bit familiar. My final resting place. <laughs> oh, this is an overseer's box. She's got a hollow tape in here. Overseer is along. She leave that talk first for you. Well, you know, I used to love coming. Beggars can't be choosers, you know. Taking flight lessons. Now it feels like I walked this into a nightmare. Had just about enough. Those scorched things are everywhere. I kept quiet. They didn't see me. I managed to observe them for a bit. Whatever this disease is, it seems to completely take over its host. The ones that used to be human, eventually they go rigid, like some kind of stasis. And if they stay like that for too long, they sort of burn up from the inside out. Vesuvius in reverse. It's peaceful here. I wondered what could possibly cause like all this. The and then I got my answer. It swooped down from the sky, screeching, breathing, infecting everything. There's some kind of flying monster out there? Wouldn't be the weirdest thing. Well, I mean, them Even them chickens evolved into such big creatures. We find the source of this scorched plague and wipe it from the map before it can leave Appalachia. But first things first. We can't let the disease spread to us. It looks like the responders were developing some kind of inoculation. I'm going to pick up their work. You should too. 
All right, I will. Signing off. I will, Overseer. Oh. We got more, we got more guys. We got, uh, is that a turret up there? Man, this ain't loud. I like it. I like it loud. I can repair this. There we go. Turret. One turret. Up and ready. And not shooting at us. Thank the stars. Oh. Got him. This did not go all the way up, though. The other place didn't. This one, though. Oh. Got another, uh, uh, hollow tape up here. It's been a hell of a week, I tell ya. We lost more good people fighting off those damn scorched things again. Now I got Shabbos telling me we're picking up a new radio signal. Someone's asking for help. She wants me to take my team and follow it till we find them. Can't be too far. Already tracked to gaining strength south of here. Problem is, we have to go straight on through Raider country to find them. And I don't have the time or men to spare right now. So, I hate to say it, but I gotta tell her it ain't gonna happen. Not now. My team's the last line of defense. And if I take them on some wild goose chase, we're leaving ourselves open for another Christmas blood situation. And you can bet your ass I ain't gonna let that happen again. Even if it means someone out there might need us. Oh, man alive, times have changed. Well... I suppose some of these hollow tapes were interesting to listen to, but others not so much. Here's a terminal. View available training. I got a free hat from this. Building camps. I already know how to do that one. I need to listen to volunteer training camping 101. All right, I will do so. Load hollow tape. Volunteer train. Here we go. Here it is. Responder survivors volunteer program. Advanced training. Camping by Miguel Caldera. Robot programmer extraordinaire. Hmm. Part one. Finding the perfect camping location. Now that the world has changed, it's hard to stay safe. Used to be that camping was safe as houses. <laughs> well, until there was a strong wind, right? <laughs> These days, nothing is really safe. Even in your camp, someone might hurt you. Perfect spot doesn't matter now. It's all about your defenses. You can build near people you trust who will watch your back, or uh, build things that will... Watch your back for you. No problem. Anyone can do it. Remember, camps are mobile. We're all explorers now. Camping in a strange land full of adventure, wonder, and danger. So, camp often. And rest a lot. Before the war, I was going to retire and go camping. Now I can do it every day. Forever. It's a dream come true you love right now come to my camp and I can show you some knots and framing techniques then I'll direct you on to some helpful supplies 
Good luck, volunteer. All right. This guy has a camp. We can maybe go. Maybe he's alive. Is this maybe Miguel's shop? Camp God program. Another Camp God program. Sweet Bean. My sweet Gary Bean, I'll be up at my camp. Maria is giving me a sanity day so I can relax. Join me. I hope you brought some of that comfort food from Flatwoods. All right. We just need to find where his camp is. Another terminal. There's safe in here I just unlocked. Oh, this this terminal has a uh, schematic for a medium generator. I got it. I know how to make one now. Sounds useful. I mean, generators are pretty useful. I don't got one right now. I think I can make a small one, but, you know, bigger is better. Oh, that's not good. Apparently, this guy's... This guy's boyfriend died, and he went up to his camp. Looks like this Miguel guy is who made all these all these programs. Something you're into? Yeah. I mean, I don't want to boast or nothing, but I did program a cheat into my, you know, into my Pit Boy video game to get me unlimited points. By pressing three button combination. So now I always win. No. Oh! Yes! Yes, I will take that! There's a crossbow in here. Anyone want a crossbow? What'd you take? I found. Look at what I found. I found. A laser pistol. Now this is much, much easier for me to handle. Couldn't you just take apart the other one? Well, I would still need the right the right stock for it. You know, you can't just use a rifle stock as a pistol stock. Let's put that one up. I might be able to get rid of the the rifle thing and and put some stuff on my laser one. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But now we got more stuff to do. We gotta find this guy's camp. What is that doesn't sound good. What is what's what's going on? What's happening? Why is the siren? Whoa, 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 whoa. There's your flying monster. What the heck is that? 
Damn if I know. Well, it... we can shoot it down with this. Uh, I mean, if you know how to use one of them things, I suppose you can throw. I don't think... I think you missed. I said I could use it. I didn't say I could aim it. I thought you were aiming at this creature! Do you want to try better? Uh... Oh, there's some... There's some... Guys over here! Maybe I should switch to my rifle for this. At least it, it, it doesn't appear to be attacking us. No, it's got others to do that for it. If I could get this uh, beam splitter onto that pistol, that would be absolutely lovely. shouldn't be that. Maybe I shouldn't be out in the open. Here comes some more. Who's making that sound? Got some up here. I'm going up. I'm gonna try to get him. Got him. Got even more?
goodness. Attention responders. Cargo bot is now on final approach. Cargo Rise bot. The sky, people. Is that it? Did we do it? That thing ain't flying around here no more. Oh, someone in power armor up there. Got a big gun too. Uh, he's not a raider, is he? I think we would have found out. Yeah, you're right. Oh, there it is. All right, take your time. Come on, come on down. There you go. All right, well. I suppose I'll take all this. That damn pistol fell apart in my hands. You need to take better care of your weapons, I think. Maybe. I mean, I can help with that. It's kind of, it's kind of one of my things. Well, I'll keep that in mind. I can repair stuff. I can mod stuff. Well, I can, I can, I can do it when I learn the parts, of course. All right. Well, that was fun. But, uh, we still got to find out information about this inoculation thing. I still would like not to turn into one of these creatures. Having said that, if I turn into one of the, them big flying creatures, I mean, that might be okay. I don't think that's the way it works, though. I don't think that's the way it works. I don't know what this is for, but I'll take it. DeAndre's Note. For the love of my life, Abby said we can use her bunker for whatever it is you want to plan for our anniversary. I know it's only been a few months, uh, but I'm so excited. You've changed my life, DeAndre. I hope you know that love, Lydia. There's also a life preserver in here for some reason. They plan on going swimming? Stimpax is left out. I mean, I ain't complaining, but it's a bit, it's a bit strange. The terminal here. And a hollow tape. I guess I will take the hollow tape. Oh, it didn't. It didn't play. All right. I'll look at the terminal. Inoculation pro. Well, we found it. Uh, as y'all know, Dr. Hudson has been continuing her research in the lab at AVR Medical. She just reported in to let us know she's made a significant breakthrough and it looks like an inoculation against the Scorch Plague could soon become a reality. Let's all keep our fingers crossed and make sure to do everything we can to help Claire complete her work. Our very survival depends on it. Jeff Nakam Nakamura, Nakamura again. I wonder if they, I wonder if he's related. I knew I knew a Nakamura in the in the vault. Uh what is this? Just talking more about the scorched. Scorched beasts. Huge mutated bats. Well, I think I think that must be what it is. It's called just called a scorched beast. Not very, not very creative name, but I suppose if it fits. We learned about him from the Brotherhood of Steel. They encounter him to the southeast. Yeah. 
I know they're real. Definitely some. They aren't strictly nocturnal. They move alone or in small groups. They're highly aggressive. Although that one that flew around a few minutes ago just kind of flew around. It didn't really land or nothing. They're dangerously radioactive. Well, that sounds nice. The Scorched Plague. Sure. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, we, we, we've seen them. In contact with the Scorched Beasts, sometimes begin to mutate. Their skin turns dark and has a smell of ash. They have lesions that burn with intense heat. They get, they get animalistic. They get very aggressive. I mean, this is just describing what we've already seen. And they don't know how to develop real tactics. Well, if you if you've got a gun and can find an enclosed space to fire from, that's ideal. Basically, their tactic against the scorched or just shoot at them. You'd say that about a lot of things. Oh, we've seen these before. All right. All right. So apparently we got to find this doctor's research. It appears to be oh, way down south, but, but, Miguel's campsite is around here somewhere. I think we should go look at that. It could be some some good, useful stuff up there. Looks like he camped up here somewhere. Ain't no more scorched around here, are there? You'll find out quick. Who's there? Uh, looks like scorched to me. What did I say? There's always more. There certainly are a lot of them. <laughs> always more. Always, always more. I think we found Miguel's camp. Camping wasn't always for everyone, but now that everything is destroyed, it's quite literally now. Even For more? Everyone living the dream. Right, Miguel. You All right. know I've been tethered to Miguel for years. years what job? 
standing here with his up? rotten corpse, and you know what? I is there more coming? Camping. Oh, what is this? Is it friendly? It's got rights in it. Can't go out and make it out from here. Sir, are you... Are you friendly, sir? Hello? Sir? Well, hey, he don't Miguel, seem too talkative. You hear something? Of course not. Effective. You're dead. Huh. huh. That's a marshal on the side of it? Is this a... Is this a... Like a police robot? Right well... After the I'm gonna talk to this one. Formed, we train dozens of volunteers to build camps. It's not enough that I am tethered to an invisible point forever, but the nickname so uncouth. None of the other volunteer bots had idiotic names. All right, well, oh, this must be Miguel. An average volunteer takes 132 minutes. Camp and syllabus. Find a safe a spot. And be sure to look for fresh time. animal or Three human droppings. Ew. Remember, if you find doo doo, better shoo shoo. Use recycled Bravo. materials to construct Miguel, your tent. You can find. I told you, All right, Mr. Fluffy, if you would please nearby. be quiet. I'm trying it to read this. Too good. You I can find scraps just about field. anywhere. Why? Didn't you can have cooking stations. Thing. I mean, I already know about all this about a camp. Yeah, I know it. I know it. And then search this terminal for camp schematics, which I've already done. I, I already got camp schematics from there, but I guess we could go back. Miguel used to be laid back, but these days... All right, let's go back. I mean, we've cleared this place out, right? There's not going to be no more scorched around here, at least not for a while. Don't know. I like Miguel so far. He, it's too bad he's dead. Schematics. Got him. I already got him. Give the hollow tape to Miguel's Protectron. I, I was already there, though. Oh, Lord. Is there more? Always more. How did they all get here already? Again. You all right down there? Turns out the warden wasn't friendly at all. Oh. He followed you all all the way down there? Sure did. On the place is so weird. Side, one day they'll rebuild this good world. And I'll be here to see it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I can't see it. I don't have eyes. Demonstrate your camp expertise and build a generator to power electric devices such as lights. Remember, All right, I'll, I'll do that, but maybe, with a maybe wire. another time. Maybe another time. Well, you all want to look at Morgantown, I suppose. See if the overseer's over there. Oh, so she didn't really say where she was going, but I mean, there could be some useful stuff there. 
Well, where do you... Where do you folks figure we should go first? We've got a whole town ahead of us. Any place that looks valuable. Kind of hard to tell. What about this place? A lot of dead ghouls around here. Uh. And scorched. Oh goodness, did I just completely vaporize that one? Does seem like it. Well, I think we should try in here. What is this building? It's very festive. Oh, what we got. We got scorched upstairs. And we got a hollow tape, an overseer's hollow tape. All right, I'll save that. I'll save that for later. Let's maybe clear the place out first. Don't need her to be yapping at me when I'm in the midst of battle. No offense to the overseer, but you know, some of them hollow tapes can kind of go on for a while. Don't know if. Oh wait, I'm hearing some. I'm hearing some on the other side. Ah! Oh, it's you. Well, I looked at the door. That you did. And you did open it. And for that, I am grateful. But I do kind of wish it was more useful. It ain't your fault, though. It ain't your fault. You didn't make that door. I heard some. I heard some upstairs. I think it was upstairs. I hope it was upstairs. I hope it was like, you know, right behind me. Don't suppose either of you folks like uh, baseball. Hello there. Don't think I do. <laughs> Plenty of baseball bats if you ever want to take it up. Can't say that I've ever been into sports, but, you know. Everybody's got their own hobbies. Hey, man. Hey, man, where you been? Remember that lead I told you about? Forget it. Watoga's lost. Don't go. Watoga. Another place? Maybe another place we shouldn't go if, if someone's telling us off of it? Hmm. Doesn't seem like it'd stop you. Well, I mean, a little risk is, is kind of part of the job. As they, as they say, risk is my whoa anyway terminal over here I'm gonna take a look at nope this one don't work no neither
telephone. Who would I call? Oh, I found the principal's office. Oh, we're going to the principal's office. Hmm. And I got the key. Another key, a safe key. Or a dangerous key? Oh, this kind of safe. Hmm. Well, I'll take it. I guess I'll take this. We we have been in here for a while and we still have not gone upstairs. <laughs> 